new day a new vlog with Mersey now it's actually the same day as yesterday's vlog the one with the safe and if you haven't watched that please go over that was really actually interesting <laughs> it was exciting I'm still buzzing I'm like this and straight away then I did like a little video for my lot on my to my family I was like look check this out <laughs> it was amazing so please go back because I know not a lot of people will probably watch that video being a Friday night so go back and watch it right so this is actually still warm I made this this morning but on yesterday's vlog it's an easy homemade lasagna so what I'm gonna do I've also sort of pre-cooked sort of pre-cooked the garlic bread ready to go as well so majority of that is done just got a foil on that so what i'm going to do is just plate up some of this lasagna it's still actually boiling and um plate it up get some cling film over it ready to mic a bit later so it's been a really manic interesting day actually I feel like I haven't stopped. Oh, let me just get the plate on. Dan's also been really busy as well. He's actually done a lot. And he, I think he's trying to prep now to go over to, woods, to the woods to go and play. So we'll see how that goes. Now this is when this comes in handy. <laughs> From my lasagna. <laughs> right, yeah, so let's let me bring you down so this is actually still quite hot even too hot actually to touch this but i'm going to now what? yeah i'll give dan a bit of crispy bit because i know he'll like that so i'm just going to curl it straight down the middle ish now i had <coughs> oh excuse me i had a lot of ingredients in this one. Oh, cheese has gone a bit can't get through it oh there we go gotta be rough massey gotta be rough there we go now he's not gonna have half of that because believe it or not that's going to be a massive slice as it is so this is going to do two dinners which is handy right so i'm going to give dan this portion if i can get it out uh, it's not properly split there, is it? My hands are clean. Right, there we go. Let's put it on the plate. Oh, I need to wipe my hand. So that's actually quite a big portion. So what we're going to have with that is just garlic bread, yeah. I think that's more than enough. And there's always leftovers, isn't there? just get that bit because i think that bit belongs to dan <laughs> on his little portion right so in a minute i'm going to take you out to the awning there we go that's massive portion this is such a cheap easy dinner it really is i'm going to wrap that in cling film let me just put that there for now now usually i do a smaller portion for me but because now this is cut i may as well just put this on there Look at the size of that. Oh yeah, you can't beat homemade lasagna. All right. This bit I'm gonna just add to Dan's plate. Yes, yeah, so in a minute, I'm gonna take you out to the awning. Cause whilst I was getting my picture frames out, which to you was yesterday, but to me it was today. I had to take out a couple of cases to get to them. So I'm thinking, rather than putting them back, let's go through them. Hey. Hey. Preparing tea. Is that big enough for you, babe? <laughs> mm, maybe not. What? <laughs> it's not that much. That is massive with garlic bread as well. I think you'll be very surprised. Dan's up to God knows what. I have no idea what he's doing. He's been potting around all day doing, doing stuff. 
Uh, what was I about to say? Yes. So all the stuff I have in the boot, I haven't touched for six years. I haven't even put my eyes on it. It was like the safe. I haven't touched it for six years. Literally, I never, generally, I swear to God, never knew there was anything in that safe. And like I said, if we haven't watched it, then go back to it. <laughs> so I'm not going to give it all away. <laughs> um, right, so that's prepared for tonight. So, yeah, even like all the boxes and stuff like that. Now, when I packed it all, obviously, you know, it, it was all sentimental stuff. You know, I've downsized from a four bedroom house to now whatever's in the boot. And that was all I was left with. So, but this time round, it's been six years later and I need to be brutal. I really do actually need to be brutal. Brutal! Right, I think my hoover's charged. Right, okay, Dan's after some strong, quick glue. <laughs> so I've had to go into my secret cupboard and fish out my nail bag. Now this glue costs me a fortune to stick my nails. I don't even know if I've got some actually. Don't even know if I've got some. There's some in this one. Nah. Once you open these, they dry out. Nah, nothing in that. Oh. I think I know where some might be actually. And it's not nail glue. It's the glue I'd stuck my little bejazzles to my bike that time. Let me just double check there's nothing in here. I don't really want him using my nail glue, do I? Is that nail glue? No. This is my nail bag. It, <laughs> it looks a complete mess. But I know what everything is. <laughs> so if you don't know... Back in the day, I used to actually um, do my art. Well, I've always done my own nails. I started off with gels, did my gel nails, and then I went on to um, acrylics. Acrylics are actually harder than gels, actually, if I'll be totally honest. Let me see. Oh, I, I can't get to the glue, babe. Look at that look. No, I need glue. I it's can't get to it. Very important. You need it now. What oh, about yeah. double-sided tape? We've got carpet tape. I need glue. Double-sided tape. Look, otherwise I've got to go in there. Yeah, go in there. I need glue. Oh, for heavens. It's important. No one's been in my cupboard. I even I don't even go in my cupboard. And now I'm taking thousands of people in, in here. Yeah, I've got a right load of stuff. I know, I know, I know. I don't have a cup here. What's that? I don't know what that is, straps or something. Um, oh! I found the vow! I found the vow! I can do I can do some. Look, babe. That's not glue. Yeah, but I can at least replace the ones on the sink with that one. I need glue. I forgot about that. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm getting there. I can't believe I'm doing this for you. Oh, oh, wicked. Do you know, I went on Amazon the other day to buy some welly socks. I've just found me welly socks from me welly boots, you know. Well, it's coming up to the weather now. Where's me other one? I hope I've got the other one in there. Brilliant. It's like a treasure trove in here. Oh, I can't find. Oh, well done. That's what I'm looking for, is it? I can't find that because this coat's in the way. You know what? I've just dragged all this out <laughs> and it was actually in the first box. This is what I'm looking for. There should be glue in this. Let me have a look. This is all the diamonds I um, bejazzled my bike with, which I've got with us now. I've actually got my bike. I was going to go out on my bike. Dan's got his as well. But... I think Dan's half tempted to sell his. No, there's no glue in there, is there? There ain't no glue in there. No, I don't have none. Yeah, I think Dan's half tempted to sell his, but I'm not selling mine. Nope, there's no glue in there. 
And there's me shoving it all back in. This is what I'm talking about. I, I do have an awful lot of too much stuff. I just have too much stuff and it all needs properly sorting. <sighs> One day, because now I've got a boot full of it as well and I just can't keep this on. I can't keep this up. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just stuff it all in there for now. For now, no one will know. I'll shut that. No one will ever know. This has just made me laugh. I had a pair of headphones there and I thought I'll just quickly tuck them in as well. So I chucked them up there. I think I've just spotted the glue. There we go. Is it still liquidy though? Nah. Oh, little bit. Might do him. I'll go and see. Right, here we are. So we're out in the awning. So these are the two cases I had to pull out while dragging the frames out. Now, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I'm actually selling a few for frames. You want to email me. And this will be up for sale as well, actually. I didn't even realize I sort of I bought that, but yeah, this will be up for sale as well. But what's in there, I have no idea. Should we check it out? Look at the dust on it, look. Now this was my suitcase from all, majority of my holidays back in the day. Look at the dust on it, look. What, what, actually, what was my last holiday without showing names? Oh, don't want to show names. That was Stansted, right there, but it's not saying where we went. It was probably Ibiza, we went to Ibiza a lot. Oh, it could have been Florida. Nah, I don't know. What's that? Right, just got to get myself a drink. I'll put you low down. Actually, could go a little bit higher. <clears throat> yeah, just going to need a drink for this one. Right, so I know what this is, but it hasn't been open for years. So let's have a look inside. It's blimmin' heavy. I have no idea why I kept all this rubbish really. Oh, it's a right mess. Let me organise it. Right, okay, so I'm going to show you what's in the box. I have had to organise it. It got a little bit in a mess. So it's just a canteen. It's a cutlery canteen. It's actually got the certificate. Um... I think it was like what was it 18 karat gold plated or something like that it's gold plated anyway so we've got all this you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three six nine ten. so you've basically got a set of 11 knives and forks but it's actually a complete set, complete set of 70 of all your items. And it's in really good condition. It's obviously vintage. Look at that look. And believe it or not, I'll tell you a story now. And it's all lovely, it all is in lovely condition. That's what it looks like. So I am gonna be selling this. But I'll tell you now, we used to actually use this as my family, um, all the knives and forks and the spoons, but they're still in great condition. They're, I mean, there's not even scuffs on these, but this was our, like our cutlery in the house. You know, it's vintage, it's not gonna be perfect. Just get one of these out. Really, really heavy quality knife and fork set you can't buy stuff like this nowadays from asda's they're just cheap rubbish aren't they so if anyone's interested let me know uh, i'll put the email uh, down below uh, so there we go that's the brand it's something like 18 carat gold plated or something like that it does say on there actually 
I'm sure it does. 24, 23 to 24 carat. It's heavy gold plated, heavy gold plated. That's what it is, 24. So let me know if you're interested in that. Right, let's go and get my suitcase. Yeah, so what I found with this is these are really nice when you've got Christmas dinner coming up at home. Now, although I've given a load of stuff away to charity bins and trash, I'm going to be totally honest. <sighs> totally honest? I'm starting that word again, in I? Honest. <laughs> I'm probably going to have an awful lot of stuff that I might offer for free for you guys. Just for free, it don't matter. But it's getting around to sorting it out. So, although I want, uh, you know, to try and get a few quid for certain items, there is going to be still plenty that I'm going to probably just be offering to give away. But anyway, let's get in this suitcase. This hasn't been opened for about six years. I have no idea what's in it. I honestly haven't. I can't believe I've actually kept the suitcase. <laughs> this suitcase alone is <laughs> probably 15 years old it's all glittery and beautiful actually although it's got some scuffy marks on it now right should we have a look in together oh oh okay all right okay oh that's a wedding picture right so I'm back at it <laughs> Now, I've just found this tube. I know what's probably in there, but I've just pulled these out, which are little pictures belonging to my kids. I've obviously kept them for a reason because they're sentimental to me. That's just so cute. Now, I will touch on the fact that I have kept all my wedding photos because I have. I don't need to explain to anyone. I'm not even going to explain nothing to no one. What's this one? Wedding photo. What's this? This one. Oh, and a wedding photo. Right. So let's have a look in here. Yeah, I'm not going down that road. So please don't ask personal questions. And when you ask questions about my children and stuff like that it's not happening it, it definitely ain't happening <laughs> i just don't won't reply to anything like that right so in here let's bend you down let's just have a look because i have no idea what's wrapped up in here so this was obviously my daughter's christening blanket but there's something inside it oh okay all little cute stuff yeah, I know what they are. Yeah, they're personal and they mean a lot. All right. So let's... Oh! Oh, yep, that's personal as well. Means a lot. So let's remove that. That's actually my daughter's christening blanket. But, if you want to hear a story, look. This is actually my christening blanket. This is my blanket when I got christened. How beautiful is that? I don't know who knitted it or what, what. I don't know the story behind it, but that's my blanket when I got christened. And actually that's been, I think that's been passed to a few kids now. Right, that's that. That's that. <laughs> I had a Disney wedding cake back in the day. Um, what's in this? Oh, this is my christening dress. This is actually my christening dress, but I have a story to tell about that. So my christening dress has, has actually been passed in to a few, few of the children in the family. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that, look how cute that is. Oh, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But there's actually a story behind this anyway. So when, when one of the kids had, um, was using it for, well, it was my sister's daughter. And uh, when she was getting christened, she, she took this to the uh, dry cleaners. And what they'd done is literally put 
the iron and it had a no iron tag in it do not iron in on the tag and they ironed it and ruined it so what they've done then is taken off about that much of the bottom of it and then my sister with me and my sister was just going mental and they would not fess up to it they you know they wouldn't take responsibility for it or nothing they they just pretended and none of it had happened at all so that was yeah so my actual dress has lost about that much of the bottom but if they had I read the label it said do not iron but then they cut the label out so this now was my daughter's uh, christening dress <laughs> look how cute that is she was a little bit older than a baby as you can tell so I've kept that oh and these are some little flowers they've made me as well so I've kept all this because you know I'm very sentimental it is a flower trust me it really is oh so what else have I got in here this coat I love this coat <laughs> I think this coat is it's a size 6 from Bay and I've kept this for years and years and years because I absolutely love it and that's yeah that's the size I was back in the day a size 6 size, size 8 mainly was my size but I did get down to a size six. Love that coat. It's starting to smell a bit fusty now. Ooh, okay. All right, there's something quite personal in here. So this was actually on my wedding cake. And was it on my wedding cake? No, this is something to do with my daughter's christening see this this is absolutely gorgeous and this uh, feels foamy but I'm sure this is was edible icing back in the day yeah that was for my daughter's christening beautiful you know stuff like that I like to keep now I've got two bottles <laughs> now I when I sold up the house and moved and blah 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 I must have gotten rid of about 24 bottles of champagne. They would have been worth quite a bit. Four bottles, obviously. But I've got these two little bottles and they're sentimental to me as well. Uh, there's a story behind them. I'm not gonna go into that because it's too personal. And at the bottom of the suitcase, this is the last item, is this gorgeous coat look. Now my mother, what size is this? can't see the size it's tiny though but it's gorgeous my mother had brought me this when we were I think we we're about 15 16 and I absolutely loved it and I will not get rid of it not at all one day I'll get back into that and wear that right there we go so that's everything in the case I'm now about to pack up I've got stuff to do in the van but yeah just going back to um, personal stuff do not ask anything about my children because I'm not going to reply to anyone uh, so you might have noticed your uh, comments being deleted in the past and if you've been totally rude then I would have just banned you anyway so um, it's not a done thing don't ask people's personal business I've already put myself out there you know just accept how much I've put out there right so Dan's gone off anyway, trial coming. This blimmin' thing is charged, but I don't know if I can manage this. So, Go, uh, GoPro, it's not a GoPro. <laughs> Let me go, it's an EcoFlow. I need to take this out to the awning. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, for heaven's sake. No, I can't do it. Can I do it? Ooh. Right, so that's two cases down, a safe and a load of frames. Let's see what's left in there. There's still an awful lot of stuff in here. And there's loads on that side. Now, although I've dragged it out, I don't really feel like I've sorted anything out. I don't feel like that any of that stuff's going anywhere. This is all treasurable moments for me. So, lovely, wonderful memories. So I'm going to leave all that, do it back up, put it back in the boot. 
just quickly. I will tell you a quick little story to why I got these. So, <laughs> now this is quite personal. I've always, not always, I've, I've gotten an awful lot better now. But back in the day, for about 17 years, I couldn't leave the house, nothing. I, I, I had agoraphobia, severe panic disorder and stuff like that. So there was one day I actually managed to, I think was go to the shop or something. And my ex-husband got me this, to, just to sh show how proud he was of me. And then the other one, I think, was driving the car for the first time as well, in all those years as well, because I just couldn't do it. For 17 years, I was like this. But yeah, that's another story for another day. I will go down that road one day, but not today. So yes, I've got into my comfies. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so yeah, on a serious note though, if you would like me to have a chat about the anxiety and stuff I went through, um let me know maybe i can do a video on that i know a lot of well a lot of people don't we we all suffer with it in some little aspect and some worse than others and stuff like that let me know if you'd like a video like that i can literally tell you the full story sort of you know it's getting personal and stuff like that whether i'm willing to we'll see but i'm willing if it means telling my story to help others then yeah I'm up for that um, I've also got another story coming up as well oh I need a wee I need a wee um, I've been saying for quite some time quite a long time ago I always said to you look um, would you like to hear a true sort of scary story and you were like yeah 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 I want to hear a scary story and this was like a long 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 time ago and I never got around to telling the story but I I'm in debate about it. You'll understand why <clears throat> when I tell you the story. Because when I say a scary story, you're assuming like ghosts and things moving around in the house or something. That's another day. <laughs> but no, what I want to tell you is a true scary story, but it's not nothing to do with being haunted and stuff like that. It's to do with a different subject. So maybe if you let me know i might i've been con contemplating it because i just don't want it to reoccur if that makes sense uh but you'll know what i mean if i do ever tell the story but let me know i'm this close this close of wanting to tell her because this is true actually this is true as god and i don't lie and it's <laughs> it was scary right okay i hope you enjoyed that i didn't really achieve anything from that one did i <laughs> <coughs> there was certainly nothing in there that I was ever going to get rid of. You know, I have to be brutal, I know that, but no, not when it comes to stuff like that. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to love you and leave you here, unfortunately. Uh, Dan's still over at the woods. Got a uh, dinner all plated up, ready to go into Mike, so he's going to be helping me cooking tonight. i stay my hair. <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow. I love you lots. Take care. Bye.